If you're looking for the best espresso machine 2024, well, you're in the right place. We've dug deep and conducted extensive research, and now we're breaking down the absolute best espresso machine 2024. We're talking about the perfect balance between price and performance, tailored for different scenarios. If you're eager to find out which suits you best, don't go anywhere. Stick around till the end, because we've got all the links for the best prices in the description below. No specific order, just the top contenders in the game. Ready to dive into the world of Best Espresso Machine 2024? Let's get started! Number 5. Wakako Pico Presso Portable Espresso Maker For campers, adventure seekers and travellers who want to enjoy the rich taste of espresso on the road, the Wakako Pico Presso is the ultimate portable machine. After mistakenly assuming it was battery powered, I was surprised to find out this little device uses a hand-powered piston to achieve the pressure required for a well-balanced shot of espresso. And achieve it did. Despite its small size and manual power, the Pico Presso produced a shot of espresso that stood up to more expensive boiler-powered machines. It took me about 10 minutes to assemble the machine, boil water on the stove, and read the instructions to pull my first shot. Though it's fairly intuitive to put together, I recommend keeping the manual close by for the first few uses to guarantee success. I tamped in the grounds, poured boiling water into the chamber, screwed the pieces together and started pumping. The manual recommends using both hands. After about 30 seconds, a syrupy liquid started flowing into my cup. The espresso produced by the Pico Presso exceeded my expectations with its chestnut-coloured creamer, rich texture and balanced flavour. And I have to admit, it was pretty fun to use too. That said, I'd like to note that it requires a bit of hand strength to pump and unscrew, and it can get hot to the touch too. It may not be a great fit for those who experience arthritis or wrist weakness. Number 4. De Longhi Stilosa Manual Espresso Machine The De Longhi Stilosa is an excellent option for anyone on a budget. With its simple mechanics and easy setup process, it's equal parts affordable and reliable. Setting up the machine was quick and straightforward, and its interface is simple and easy to operate, consisting of just one knob and four settings – on, off, steam and brew. Note that the device is manual, which means you'll have to turn the knob off when the espresso is finished brewing. The Stylosa also requires the use of a separate grinder. Alternatively, you can use pre-ground beans. And both the single and double cup filter baskets are pressurized to help ensure that the machine achieves adequate bar pressure for good extraction. I was disappointed to find that the instructions didn't make mention of the correct dosage, 7G per shot. But I was subsequently surprised to find that the included scoop did measure a 6G to 8G dose of grinds with decent accuracy. The double-sided plastic scoop and tamper felt somewhat flimsy to me. So for those who purchase this machine, I'd recommend using a scale and upgrading to DeLonghi's stainless steel tamper, which fits the portafilter and will offer the best results. Number 3. Jura E8 Automatic Coffee Machine Swiss-made Jura machines have a reputation for being top of the line when it comes to automation. And sure enough, the Jura E8 was the best fully automatic espresso machine I tested. Its customization features and ease of use make it a top choice for coffee drinkers who value convenience and like to indulge in cafe-style beverages at home. While high-tech appliances can feel over-engineered and complicated, getting started with the E8 was painless. The clear and easy-to-read digital display walks you through the initial setup instructions. It took about 15 minutes to clean the machine and attach the milk cooling system, which can be purchased for an additional cost. My first couple of espresso shots were watery and had a light-coloured foam that disintegrated quickly, indicating that the espresso was under-extracted, but adjusting the grind dial to a finer setting improved my results. With only six grind settings, the fully automated machine is limited in making fine adjustments and giving the control required for a more artisanal feeling beverage. Still, with just the touch of a button, users can brew 17 types of drinks, including macchiatos, cortados and flat whites. Hitting expert mode allows you to program the coffee strength, amount and temperature. Though I personally preferred the rich results of the semi-automatic machines, the Jura's drinks were satisfying and ideal for a user who values convenience and time over a more hands-on experience. Number 2. Rancilio Silvia Espresso Machine 
The Rancilio Silvia was the single most professional piece of equipment I tested. Though it requires more expertise to operate than the semi-automatic machines, it's the perfect choice for coffee geeks and hobbyists who are passionate about learning more about the craft of brewing espresso and the art of steaming milk. No, it may not have all the fancy features of other machines, but the Silvia delivers on its promise of an efficient brewing experience with durable, well-made accessories. The instruction manual assumes basic user knowledge in setting up and operating the machine, and I did have to watch a few online tutorials to get the machine primed and water flowing through the boiler properly. The Porter filter and tamper felt the most substantial and premium of any I tested too. The device's simple design makes it easy to clean, but the small drip tray requires frequent emptying. I didn't mind this, as it felt more sanitary than letting dirty water languish for days. The Rancilio Silvia's simple interface, with four rocker switches and a dial, may be intimidating for some users who prefer a more prescriptive experience, but is still intuitive and easy to use after a few trial runs. Finally, the quality of extraction from the Silvia is truly remarkable but it does require some expertise and experimentation. I had to adjust my grind size and really fine tune my technique to get the best results, but the effort was absolutely worth it. Number one, Breville Barista Express Impress. After thorough testing and evaluation, the Breville Barista Express Impress emerged as my top choice, hands down. Its impressive performance and user-friendly features make it a standout option for any espresso enthusiast or frequent coffee at home consumer. Setting up the machine was a breeze, taking only 15 minutes from start to finish. Filling the water tank, soaking the filter, attaching the hopper and adding the beans were also straightforward and easy tasks, thanks to the well-written instruction manual and user-friendly quick setup sheet. An intuitive control panel illuminates one cup and two cup buttons for easy selection. Heating the boiler takes only about a minute and the power button blinks while the machine heats up, serving as a convenient indicator of its progress. The features that set this machine apart from the rest were its intelligent dosing system and assisted tamping mechanism. The grinder automatically calculates an accurate dose based on the last grind with a light-up indicator that tells you whether you need a bit more or a bit less. What's more, I used a scale to measure the coffee grounds in between shots and was shocked at how accurately the system was able to adjust and replicate great results. Cleanup was practically non-existent too, thanks to the built-in dosing funnel, which neatly delivers the coffee grinds to the portafilter and helps to minimize mess. Finally, the quality of the espresso produced by this machine was simply exceptional, especially for a semi-automatic home machine. The crema on each cup was thick and foamy, indicating a proper emulsion in the extraction process. The steam wand wasn't the most powerful one I tested, and it did require a few seconds to purge hot water before it was hot enough to blast pure steam. Still, it delivered enough intensity to heat the milk quickly and produce microfoam, resulting in a satisfyingly frothy cappuccino.